Greetings, this is Judy from NWOET, and today we're going to go over the Info Ohio resources that are new for the 21-22 school year. And if you weren't aware, Info Ohio is the pre-K to 12th grade digital library here in Ohio, which is paid by taxpayers' money and a resource that I hope more people will become aware and learn what just a great resource it is for students, teachers, and parents to have. So I'm going to be using uh, my web version of Info Ohio. It is now much more accessible and usable on mobile devices, including um, smartphones than it was a few years ago. So um, hopefully you will be able to find many resources for your instruction. So let's get right into it and I'll share my screen here and we will get to it immediately. So we will. This is the new Info Ohio homepage. And just to get started on what's new, uh, this year they have added the educator button right here with tools and resources. They have had the educator tools down here, but that's just one of many resources in this uh, link. And I will go to that. They have had the age grade bands here for quite a few years, but we'll just go into the educator tools to see, and I did not mean to click on that one, um, to look at the, the uh, resources in here. And you can see there is the educator tools. And if you've never really gone into that link, you will see that there are close to 100,000 curated resources of all kinds. And you can see the item types here. And once you do a search, you can filter down to what it is you're looking for. In other words, if you're looking for a video on say cells, uh, you could uh, narrow that down to just videos. If you were looking for eBooks, you can just click there and, and that would bring up the list of eBooks that are listed. I mean, there's a lot more than just lesson plans in this resource that uh, has been here for a, quite a few years, but there was never a educator link right up there without scrolling down or clicking on it. But um, again, there are many more resources here on this page. Um, we also have the open space where educators here in Ohio can add their own resources that they wanna share with other Ohio teachers. And also there is, uh, the remote edX exchange, which has, uh, again, a lot of things shared by Ohio teachers, as well as uh, Capstone Connect. Capstone's a new resource uh, that's been added this year. We'll be talking about that. And if you're interested in books, there's an EBSCO education collection here for uh, educators uh, that goes beyond the EBSCO books that are for high school, I'll be talking about later. There's also Info Ohio Campus with free personal development courses about a lot of the Info Ohio resources that may be new to you that you can watch. And for most of them, you can get anywhere between a half hour to an hour or two of professional development by watching, viewing the video, and then answering some assessment items. So that's the educator button. Uh, whenever you see the Info Ohio uh, logo and there's a power button or just the power button, if you click on it, it should take you back to the Info Ohio homepage, which is where we'll start now. Um, I'm going to be covering the new resources for middle school and high school, and they include sixth grade in the middle school. So we'll be talking about some of those resources uh, that are not listed in the high school ones. So 
The first one we'll get started with is one called Storia. And it's over here. It's uh, Ohio's um, ebook collection. In the past, it was for, um, originally for just grade four. And then they added five either last year or two years ago. And this year they've included grade three through six for story. And just to give you a little taste of what story is, uh, this is what the login looks like. I was logged in when I did this. I don't know if it's gonna automatically log me back in or I'll have to put in my uh, login. In. Okay, good. It's got me back in. But Storia is a collection of eBooks and they aren't just an eBook standing alone. They are uh, eBooks with different tools that students can use. They can take notes, they can highlight, all the books can be read aloud for students that are challenged with their reading level. They can understand much higher than what their current reading level is. They are um, labeled by uh, their Lexile levels and you can set up classes so that students, teachers can monitor how much time the students are spent reading the books. And also there's an assessment for each book. I'll just go into the collection of um, well, that's this grade four. I should have gone into grade six, but um, they have um, an assessment for each book. And you can see that this um, book is 48 pages long. They can read the ebook. The teacher can assign individual books, groups of books to groups of students or the entire class or to individual students. Um, set up the teacher would set up student accounts and they can actually pull those student lists from classes in from Google Classroom now. It's a little bit of a process, but um, it will uh, make it easier to add those classrooms to the teacher's story account. So if we have sixth grade included in middle school, that's a new, resor a new resource that was no not uh, formally available for sixth grade. So, um, Going back to the sixth grade uh, homepage here, you can see there is a little eye in the corner of that story uh, link and teachers can request a teacher access code to set up their classrooms and get into their um, story uh, account like I was. And there are some questions that are answered here about story uh, and and now being added to grade six is why I wanted to bring it into this presentation since it was formerly was not available for grade six. So again, we go back to our homepage here for six to eight for another resource that is not currently a new high school one. It's not listed at high school and that's um, for capstone and actually this one I'm going to show you is not on the six to eight page, but if you go backwards to the five, the K to five, and I've just sent an inquiry to Info Ohio support, Mike Reidinger there is really good about answering any questions I have. And there's a little toolbar on the home page that says send a, a message an email, but these capstone interactive books are for grades three through six. And it's an awesome collection. Right now there's over 817 books and a teacher can go to here and pick interest level for sixth grade and find the books that are most interested, sixth graders would be most interested in and they can search the books as well. They also can use the guided reading level um, if, you know what that is for your students or even the Lexile range. There aren't any books under the 450 or under, but there are ones for these three other higher Lexile numbers. So it is intended for grade six as well as three through five. So that's not listed. Like I said, it's not listed in the uh, grades six through eight, but it says grades three through six. So I have asked them if, they just didn't have room on the uh, six through eight or what the deal was. 
So hopefully we'll find out and maybe they will add it to grade six through eight since it is, they do have the story added. I just thought maybe there wasn't enough room in this list of resources. You know, I think they got some room, so maybe it was just a slip up. We'll see if they get that corrected. So that's Storia and Capstone, which are some awesome, awesome collections of eBooks for your students in all subject areas, not just ELA and reading. Okay, the next one we're going to cover is also in the six to eight. And again, this would probably not be um, something that high school would use, but it is new this year. And so I want to show this World Almanac Kids. It's something like an encyclopedia type thing with different uh, information and activities to go along with the different articles. And so we'll just pick a topic here of cells and see what comes up. And you can also do an advanced search. Okay, how about plant cells? Again, I didn't research to see if this was in the uh, middle school um, standards or whatever, but uh, you can see there's information and as well, there are teacher resources that go along with most of the information in here. And again, you can see that almost every resource that is similar to this in the Info Higher Resources has uh, citation information. So if they need to export it, there's MLA, Chicago Manual Style, and Harvard. So if the student clicks that, they can copy and paste this into a bibliography or a list of resources for any research they're doing, which is something I wish I would have had when I was in school to easily have a correct um, citation. And there's also the read aloud feature that students who may understand the structure of plant cells. And it's not all living things are made up of cells. It's not too bad as cells far can... as um, the read it isn't exactly, you know, human being reading, but it isn't bad. And also if the teacher wishes to share this, they can share it to Google Classroom. Almost all the resources in Info Ohio have somewhere where they can be shared. The resources can be shared to a Google Classroom assignment or the material section in Google Classroom or any other EL, uh, learning management system, and they can be printed out and they can save the resources. Um, and you can see there's a My Save folder uh, that students can go back to find where they have saved different materials. There's also games in the World Almanac Kids, and you can see some of the featured games in the different subject areas uh, that they could find. So that's World Almanac for Kids. There is another version called World Almanac Kids Elementary, and that's listed in the K to five page. It's similar, but the reading levels of these articles is higher. So, um, so that's for middle school. Now let's go to ones that are available for high school and middle school, both. So let's just go into that nine to 12 area. And the one that I am really amazed at all the things that are included is one that is right here called Today's Science. It's by a company called Infobase who does also have a paid product called Learn360 of videos, but this is free to you through Info Ohio. Of course, it is purchased through Info Ohio. Um, I, I wish that you will click on the little I from many of these resources so that you can learn more about them. There's actually an overview video that was created by one of the Info Ohio staff members, and it should be coming up soon here. And if you, uh, it's a video tutorial. I'm sorry, this one wasn't created by Infobase. It was one of the other ones that 
I was looking at that was created by an Info Ohio staff. But uh, you have a little video. I'm not going to play it here, but I just wanted to show you where it was. Uh, and you can even get a fact sheet about today's science to find out all the features. And there's actually an educator's guide that um, was available. And it's a multi-page PDF document uh, that right here that you might want to print out for your use. It wouldn't be anything that you would give students. Um, it highlights the different features of today's science. And so we're just going to jump right in to today's science um, and look at some of these features that I've never seen in any of the other uh, resources that are similar, like World Book Encyclopedia. Of course, you can save your articles, set up uh, an account. And there are crossword puzzles. And that was the one that, not that I'm a class word puzzle freak or anything like that. I don't spend a lot of time doing crosswords, but there are all these crossword puzzles and they can look of course in today's science to try to find the answers. And the only thing is you can kind of cheat and get the answers if you can't figure them out, but you could look for ones say for the environment and these are classified as environments. So let's just do the coral reefs one here. And the student can actually play this um, or fill it in right here on the uh, site. And of course, again, you can share it with uh, a link or email to students. Um, of course, there's a citation if you'd want to cite it. And it is a little, okay, and there's even the citation. Uh, you can expand it if it's a little tiny for you by using your uh, tools on your uh, keyboard to expand it. But again, um, there's these crossword puzzles and there's the reveal word and reveal a letter that allows you to kind of cheat on doing the crossword puzzles. Um, going back to, I'm just gonna click on the word today's science and that will take you back to the main page. But you have all these current things that they keep adding instructional resources. And of course you can do a search or an advanced search of anything that's um, on today's science, but they have some interesting cartoons. I don't know if you call them cartoons, uh, editorial cartoons and questions that they have in discussion questions about almost every one of their postings. So if um, the topic in your class happens to be COVID uh, and notice there's a Google Classroom link course on all the articles so that you could post this and these are related articles and of course here's um, the following questions may be useful in helping your students interpret the, the message uh, of the cartoons and of course uh, a link the, to the URL that you could post if you don't use Google Classroom you could post it and there's also the ability to translate these into a hundred plus languages. If you have students that English is not their first language, um, they have that. And there's a the list of different um, languages and yeah. And notice there's two different kind of Chinese even. So, um, so that's today's science and it could be used by middle school, uh, depends on uh, the topic, if you do an advanced search, um, you actually can search by year and, of course, uh, clear the, add the filters or clear the filters um, and just title or the full article, which will help find some things that might not come up if you just search by title. And then you are able to filter what kind of uh, article type do you want? Um, there's a lot of conversation with scientists. They did interviews with scientists and I think those are something different that you don't see in any of the other resources. So, um, but that's today's science. And let's now go to 
uh, back to Info Ohio. And again, if you see any time you see this, you should be able to click on that and get right back to that home page. And so let's go back to the 9 to 12 again. Now, this resource is even in the K to 5. It's called Transparent Language Online. And in the past, you did not have the option to create individual student accounts or teacher accounts, instructor accounts. And this year, they have added that feature. In fact, there is an entire instruction here. When you click on that little I for more information, there's all kind of information about how students have to be 16 years old or older to create um, uh, their own account. And if they're under 16, that the teacher has to get a parent guardian or authorized adult to uh, approve setting up an account. Um, it's free to set up an account. There is no cost whatsoever. And there are all kinds of training support guides here for uh, teachers on setting up these accounts and what it is, but we're talking um, resource that has a lot of different languages to uh, with instructional. So we'll just open it. I'm not, I'm gonna go in as a guest. I have not set up an account for myself as an instructor or as a user. So I'll continue as guest. And this is where you would sign up as an instructor or a student. Now, the advantage of having an account, uh, an individual account would be that you can save your progress. You can uh, keep track of the vocabulary that you have learned as well as access to the mobile apps with an account. So, we are going to just show you the different languages and there are all kinds of activities. Now, if you happen to see a visitor here, I've had somebody come up to my desk. Maybe she won't show up here. My little kitty cat is seeing, trying to find out what I am doing. But these are the different languages uh, that um, there's two dialects for Chinese here and some languages I am not even sure what country might use them, but these are some of the languages to learn. So if we just go with one of the um, ones that's, of course, here we are. See little kitty? I'm just going to put it in. Okay, um, let's go with French. There are different, uh, let's just go with French, and you can see it will start with very easily you speak into it for different activities or practice activities and this has been available for a couple of years now but the part that was new this year is the the ability to uh, set up accounts so we aren't going to spend any more on that one and the last one that i'm going to show you from info ohio is one that is only available on the nine to 12 band. And that is a really awesome collection of eBooks. It's called EBSCO High School Collection eBooks. I remember pointing it out to you on the education educators page, but there are over 12,000 books. And you know, when you go to a library and you get online books, eBooks, Sometimes you have to wait if it's a popular book um, on the bestsellers list. They only have so many licenses to uh, each book. Well, that's not the case on these eBooks. There is unlimited access to these and they can actually be downloaded. Um, I was trying to look for uh, a fall or October or Halloween book, but there's all kind of different um, books well let's just go with humor and see what pops up but you again you can search the database for books and okay how about we do herding cats all right notice that this book is available in pdf 
or EPUB, which will work on all your readers or uh, Kindles, things like that. And you can see there's a table of contents. So you actually could just read it right from here on your computer or Chromebook, whatever it is. And notice that there's that link on the side that almost every EBSCO resource has where you could add it to Google Classroom. And you actually can just read portions of the, you know, you could put one chapter in the Google, um, in your Google Classroom for the students uh, for an assignment. Uh, now, when you click on the PDF on the left-hand side of this book, and not all the books are available in the same formats. The almost all that I noticed were EPUB, uh, but not all of them had the PDF. And the PDF is basically a, actually pictures of the different pages of the book. And you just scroll down. Uh, I haven't really examined this book before, but Herding Cats, Sarah Scribble's collection. It's kind of a cartoon book. And I know there's a lot of students out there that will read cartoons way before they would read a long assignment. So again, if I wanted to download this book, I could, uh, like I said, you can put, put it into your Google Drive if you're interested in saving it for later. Um, going back to that first page where the find page I mean, you actually could print it out if you really wanted to. But again, there's all these different methods of collecting or saving these books uh, too. But again, over 12,000, and I'm sure that collection is growing. It's a collection that is supposed to be of interest to high schools, students, but I'm not sure. I think there might be some in there that uh, middle school students might also uh, find interesting. So, so again, over 12,000 books. Um, they always have the, the featured books here and those change from time to time. And you can find more about the ebook support here in their collection and key features. But that's one of my highlights, the Today's Science and the um, EBSCO High School Collection uh, just to add to all the awesome features that you have in Info Ohio for all age groups. Um, those are the new ones. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, you always can ask on the Info Ohio homepage. If it's specific to Info Ohio and you want their help, if you go up to the top right corner of the homepage there, there's a picture of an envelope and it, you can send an email to them. And they're very responsive. Uh, their offices are actually located in Lima, Ohio. Uh, and you'll get a response from somebody personally, even if they cannot answer it right away, um, they'll get back with you about, you know, that they're working on it. Um, or if you have any question about my presentation specifically and you want to Email me, it's tucker at nwoet.org, or even if you just say nwoet at nwoet.org, we can help you, uh, especially if you would want an uh, Info Ohio presentation to a group at your school, a grade level, or even the entire staff. NWOET would be glad to help you with your technology needs. So I'm going to stop right now. If you want professional development, a professional development certificate, answer the questions that accompany this video, and you will automatically be sent a certificate if you answer, I think it's 80% or higher. So hopefully, Info Ohio will be a great resource that you can. Uh, show to your students and especially show it to your parents so they know that that help is out there and that all the resources are safe they have been vetted and it's a lot better than doing a google search to just click the little i search down here or it's also on each one of these pages uh, and do that kind of search they'll get much better results for the kind of things that they do in school 
Well, thank you very much.